Okay, good morning. Today, what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to turn Revit on. A lot of people don't know how to turn on Revit. They purchase it and then they, um, they are not sure how to turn it on. They continue to use AutoCAD and SketchUp instead of using Revit. So let me um, show you how that's done. <clears throat> okay. Somewhere on your computer, you are going to have an icon. And my icon is right here for the different versions of Revit that I actually have purchased. So what I'm going to do is click on this guy right here, Revit 2017 uh, or 18, whatever. I'm going to click on it. And what happens is Revit launches. It actually begins turning on. And you see a little toilet bowl. It's right there. You can see that little toilet bowl spinning. The Revit program turns on. And that's how Revit comes on, if anybody's interested. <clears throat> now, we're almost done. It has to prepare itself and all the icons and whatnot. It brings up, typically, this recent files um, page where you can click on some either the families that you've been working on that you want to continue working on or on projects that you've been working on. So the last four projects that you've been working on. So that's how you turn on Revit for all of you that are stuck and have purchased it and they're not sure how to turn the program on. There is a way to turn the program off when you're done working. Here, let me move my face there. Aha. Up in the top right corner, there's an X. You can click on that and that'll turn the program off. Or, even better, <clears throat> over on the left, there's an R. You can see it over there. Top left corner. Click on that R, and down here, it says Exit Revit. You can click on that. That'll shut Revit all the way off. So here we go. That's it. So, thank you very much. I hope you learned something today. If you're using AutoCAD, or if you're using SketchUp, or some other program, that right there is how you turn on Revit, which is a BIM solution to get your work done faster. Or if you don't know anything about Revit, it'll take you longer to create things. But you'll be way more coordinated in the process. Okay, talk to you later. Thank you very much, and we are done.